Hey guys, uh, today I am going to actually show you another tutorial how to make a paper double barreled shotgun. Uh, it should be like this at the end. Um, it actually shoots pretty good. So, it actually also should be more cleaner with your kind of tape. Ran out of tape, so I had to use this kind. So, let's get started. Uh, get, you will need actually tape, scissors, and piece of paper. Pieces. Uh, first, take one piece of paper and make it the fat way. And roll it as big as you want or as big as or smallest as you want. Then, then tape these one, two, three. I'll be done with that and I'll show you. Okay, and now you want to get that rolled piece that you just did and get another piece of paper. Make it the fat way again. Put your folded roll over the piece of paper and roll it with the piece of paper inside like so grab that it will be fatter Tape it. <coughs> Try to do it as fast as I can. Okay, once you have taped your second tube, your big one. Take the first one that you made, small one, and take another piece of paper, roll it again over the piece of paper, and take the small one out, tape it together, like you usually do. Okay, when you finish that, you need to take your two fat ones, should be similar, kind of, as similar as you can, and then this is, leave the small one aside, the first one that you made, and the bigger ones, take them, put them together, and then you're going to want a very a long piece of tape. Because you need to, because you need to tape these two together. <coughs> get that, get the other side. Other side. And then tape multiple ends to make it all secure.
go to the bottom. I would recommend three times, like usual, on paper guns. That other side. Okay, when you're finished with this, you should end up with this double barrel. And then take your one that you put aside, the small one, and then get both ends, fold it down, get a piece of tape, tape over it, then take the other side. down make it lined up though like lined up so flat and then flat so it's not on an angle and tape it okay then when you're done that you're gonna want to take your double barrel and then stick it right here. But you're going to want to leave it about to the first tape line. Like that. Get another big piece of tape. And line it up first tape line, like right to the first tape line. Try to make it the best you can, and then tape that. Oh, shoot. See, I didn't make it long enough, make it really long. Then Like that. Should be lined up perfectly. Doesn't have to be actually perfect, but lined up. Okay, when you're done taping it like that, you should have something like this. Then, when you're done that, you're going to take your last piece of paper, or your next piece of paper, and fold it the opposite way, the long way. Or, not fold it, sorry, roll it. This is going to be the handle, so as fat or thin as you want it to be. Okay, here's the hard part. When you're finished taping this small one, you want to take this whole set and then see this area where you want there, where you had. You want to take this and fold it like that over. So it stays there. So fold as much how you can do it. Get your piece of tape and then fold it over. This is going to be your handle. So 
make it as best as you can. Okay, when you're finished taping this part, that's your handle, and you bring it like this. It should be like that. Uh, it's actually a pretty good gun. I mean, here's the blow hole uh, where you blow, put your ammo in, ammo in it, blow. Um, to make, I will not be showing you how to make bullets in this video, but there's another video where there is bullets, how to make bullets. So, this is not the, it's not clean, it's all sloppy, but yours is probably more clean with your scotch tape. Um, so, please like, favorite this video, and actually have a nice day.